Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm having a good day. Oh, he actually wants to surrender. So groups of three or, or three or less seem to want to surrender. Take us on as higher guns. Um, nah. I'm not trusting you. Wow, he's actually going to attack. He attacked us. What an idiot. What is he doing? Attack! It's three guys. If he just surrendered, I would have just taken him to town and ransomed him. Prison is a hell of a lot better than getting arrows rained down on you. You got a zero chance of surviving an encounter with me. Well, I guess sometimes it's a non-lethal shot. What I mean to say is, you've definitely got a chance of death fighting me. You don't have a chance of death if you surrender. He looked so trustworthy. How could I betray him? Oh, desert bandits up there. We haven't fought them yet. Let's go beat the shit out of them. Okay. Do they not have horses? Usually, uh, desert bandits in the old game would have horses. But... Oh, one of them does. Ah! Fuck, I thought I was going to hit him for a second. With that, like, real Hail Mary shot. All right. I gotta pursue him. Ah, he's hard. Ooh, he's hard to chase. I might need to cut him off instead. That slowed him down. took me down! Holy shit! And he grabbed my horse! That bitch! And then one of my guys knocked out my horse! I mean, we win, but... <laughs> what a bastard! Okay, we took him hostage, at least. And he's pretty fucking talented, actually. Is my horse wounded? No, good. There's a chance when your horse goes down that it will either get a wound that can heal over time or get killed. But uh, it looks like it didn't get wounded. I think it can only get... Oh, right, I'm too wounded to jump in manually. So I've, a bunch of my people are getting knocked out in this fight. Are you kidding me? My people are getting knocked out? I mean, none of my people died, thankfully. But how can some of my people get knocked out as looters? We never get knocked out by looters. Good loot, though. All right, let's get to town and heal. We have a lot of wounded. Our people could use a rest for a day or two. Why did I just get the same ad with a break of about 10 seconds? I don't know. I never do manual ads on Twitch. I think the ads on Twitch are fucking obnoxious. And so I just, I've literally never run a manual ad as far as I can remember on Twitch because they are just obnoxious and they make almost no money unless you are really popular anyway. And even if I was really popular on Twitch, I make good enough money on YouTube anyway. I don't need to go running ads on this. I do Twitch for fun. Okay. She can melt it down. He can refine. There we go. Sell the junk. I always manually do that. There, I know that there's a button to, like, mass port over all of the non-marked as important locked things. Um, but I always want to scroll through anyway just to make sure that there isn't, like, a resource that I picked up, like, food that I wouldn't want to sell. No quests in town. Damn. You only run ads on YouTube? Yeah. Twitch auto runs ads on Twitch. I have no control over that. I'd turn it off if I could. But, unfortunately, I have i don't think there's an option to do that, you know? Amazon wants to make their money, and there, it's their service. Okay, Curl them just all! move in there. 
did you ransom the nice bandit? No. I manually ransomed the, uh, the looters. We are annihilating these guys. Our rain of arrows is just too much. They don't have real armor. Oh! I've never seen that bump before. Hell of a sale. He took the Rikishi bump. Did you see that? Inside out. That was great. All right, back to town. We still have some wounded. You know what? I should spend a second night here. If I see some easy bandits outside the city walls, I'll go get them. But uh, let's heal. Off to go back on working on 100%ing uh, Skyrim for the second time. Jesus, man, that's got to be hard to do. I hope you have fun with it, though. Have a nice day. Oh, there's a bunch of looters, and they are real close to town, and our people are looking pretty healthy now. Let's go get them. We actually are outnumbered by them, but we also outgunned them massively. Not the best train in the world for us. I'll let my guys charge, but I think I might kind of hang out up here a little. Tournament? Oh, I forgot to check if there was a tournament that day. Oh. A lot of the guys went straight in. Probably just the companions doing that, though. Trying to take the opportunity of there being lots of dudes to do kind of a lot of Hail Mary shots into the crowd. Because the higher the shot difficulty is that you land, the uh, more skill you get. I'm actually pretty hurt from those rocks. I know I'm using arrows and they're just throwing stones, but uh, hurling a rock at a dude riding at you with a horse, that rock is hitting you pretty fucking hard and fast. I mean, if I took a rock to the face at that fucking speed, I think I'd just die. Who's left? Over there? Check local prices, see what I can sell back up north. Uh, not really looking to do that right now. We did lots of trading before, and as fun as that is, right now, I want to focus on the combat. You guys haven't been seeing enough, enough combat lately. Gotta give the people what they want. Okay, next town. I like how close together all the cities are down south. It's really nice. One infantry as a prisoner. They have a nomad bandit and two rovers. I think the rovers are cav, aren't they? No, the nomad bandit is cav. Okay. I'll fight him. Ooh, there's 17 there. They didn't join in, did they? No, good. I didn't want that 17 to join in. I could actually lose that at this health. Attack! Gloves, man. Gloves. Yeah, he's wearing gloves. I, I said it out loud what happened, remember? Oh! Fucking took the horse out from under her immediately. She got launched. Here we go. There. That's it. That's it. This is what your Pokemon Snap playthrough, and it was great. Thank you. Did that almost exactly a year ago, I think. But, um, Probably about 11 months. Captured a rover. We'll just uh, ransom him. He's nothing too special. So how fast are they? Speed of 5.3. Okay, I can outrun them. Just in case. Tournament in town. We're really low health. Ransom the looters and the rover. Keep the good guys for now in case they want to join us later. Sell the garbage and lock that in. Sweet. Money is getting good. Let's join the tournament.
Low health, so uh, low chance of winning, but it's more southern ringmail, which I definitely need more of. I'm on horseback, short spear, and shield. Not thrilled about this weapon combo. And I'm already knocked unconscious. I think that's a... Yeah, I, I lose. The winner was some main Luke. Makes sense if it was a horse tournament. Shame. All right, sleep the night. We're hurt. You like the Sheik of Mecha playthrough? That was a really fun CK2 playthrough. It really is a shame that uh, that one patch broke the save. Okay, no more tournament in town today. Any of our prisoners willing to join us yet? Nope. Maybe if we keep them a bit longer. We'll see. Watch just about everything on your channel. Thank you. Have watched just about everything on your channel. I mean, I'm going to guess you mean in recent history, because I have well over 5,000 videos. I've been uploading a dead minimum of vid a video a day for nine years now. Most days has been two a day, but I think my average over all of the years is like 1.7 a day. But right now it's just nine a week. I've cut it down a bit for the sake of my own sanity. Okay, we're riding to the next town. That's really impressive in my honest opinion. Thank you. I, I'm really proud of it that I was able to do that. It's, um, you know, it's uh, just work ethic pays off, you know? It, it took me uh, took me nine years to finally blow up. Just kind of hanging around the poverty line, working my ass off in my little studio. And now here I am. I'm doing really well in life now. And I'm really proud of myself for it. It was all just working hard and not giving up. Didn't do anything special. I just, you know, was persistent. If, if there's anything I am, it's tenacious and relentless. I think you guys have learned that about me over the years. Uh, I don't give up easily. I'm too fucking stubborn. Started back in January, expecting uh, it to take a few years to get to that point. I don't know. You uh, you still know a lot of old people, though, probably. I bet you that you've got enough contacts and enough, you know, people that can vouch for your content being good because they remember you from back in the day, that it'll probably give you a pretty solid head start. I think about it the way that I think about my friend Bogart. Play a Bogart. I think he goes by... Trish Bogart now? I don't remember. Uh, when I first met him, he was just some really, 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 really old school uh, game review guy just from, like, rural Canada. I think he was out from Nova Scotia or something. Just normal looking, like, 20-year-old or something. Dude, uh, now he's super into, like, dragon stuff, and I, I think he's got, like, a new name he likes to go by and stuff. I think he still uses he, though, uh, but... It's just funny how how much shit changes over a decade, you know? Uh, but he's he's awesome. I, I fucking love that guy. He is such a nice person behind the scenes, like, seriously. I don't think he gets enough credit. I wish that his show was more popular, honestly, because I've never seen a Twitch stream like his right now. Uh, it is... He's got such a unique personality. He's such a feel-good dude. I like him a lot. All right, so what do we got here in this turn? I'm with a peasant, an infantry, and a veteran archer. I'm against a willow bark, tribal horseman, a maim luke, and a raider. So basically what you're telling me is I'm getting fucked on right now. Where is that referee? He was trying to fuck on me. Of which I'm sure Retra is now smirking. I love that half the fucking jokes I tell on this show is is for two humans to laugh. The joke is for me to laugh and Retra to laugh, and that's fucking it. <laughs> Retra just says, yup, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I expected the response to be. Either that or, like, fuck you. Oh. 
You know what's something that I'm really proud of? Just, oh, fuck, not that. Don't, don't look at the screen, everybody. Oh, the game glitched. Man, that's weird. Oh, Willowbark made it to the finals and lost to a Mameluke. That's a bummer. You know what I'm really proud of? Is that even after I blew up, a, quite a large amount of people who followed me for many, many years before that uh, still watch, and none of them have ever said, like, you've changed, man, or, like, anything like that. They all just, they've all just said to me stuff along the lines of, like, man, I'm, I've been watching you for so long. I've seen you go through hard times. I'm so happy to see that you're doing well. And just them saying that they're proud of me is something that really means something to me. Um, needs a few days of sight. Da, 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 da. Moving lumber like a lumberjack. Okay. Okay. We might be getting the cat. We might not be. Uh, she said that she was talking to... Uh, she was saying that uh, she was talking to Michael, who's the name of the guy who technically owns the cat. Um, his wife, Doria, I think is her name, is the one that we know a little bit better. It's mostly Fatima knows these people more than me. Stream cut, did I win? Yeah, I rocked it. Like, you wouldn't believe. I complete fucking just like one shot everybody. I didn't. It was great. You should have been there, man. Um, it, it's funny. The footage got lost. I don't know what happened. Um... You have enough for a caravan? Almost. But I want to have more than that, because you gotta have some money left over. You know, for safety. You changed, man. You used to look like a shady drug dealer. Now you look like a less shady drug dealer. I do still look like a drug dealer, don't I? <laughs> See, Brandon's known me since high school, so he can, he can attest. Like, literally, when I used to live in Hamilton, which is already a rough neighborhood, um, people used to cross the street when they'd see me coming. Just because I looked fucking dangerous. All I was doing was walking to the corner store to buy some milk and bread for my mom. Like, Canadian drugs? I don't know what you mean by that. What, do you think Canada doesn't have drugs? We're one of the highest weed producing countries in the world. I think we're the highest weed smoking and producing country per capita on Earth. Also, there's a meth problem, although it's not quite as bad as America. We have a huge painkiller addiction uh uh and um opiate addiction not opiate uh blanking on the name now of course i'm blanking on the name when i'm on air hamilton isn't the that the one from the popular musical no there's a city in in southern ontario in canada called hamilton uh, it's a pretty major city in our history uh, and that's a very large industrial city it was almost our capital for a time um but it's never going to be as big as toronto you know it's not too far from Toronto, though. I've lived in both Toronto and Hamilton. All right, we already sold everything, yeah. I'm gonna wait here. Daytime, don't wanna move to the next one. Canada's crime, yes! Uh, Canada's a real place, did you guys know that? Real people live here, we have real problems. Fentanyl addiction is a problem here, yes. Alcoholism is rampant in Canada. It tends to be rampant in most cold countries because cold countries naturally have a very strong alcohol culture because it makes you feel warm. So drunk driving is a huge problem in Canada. You ever want to have a nightmare and you're not from Canada? Go look up Canadian drunk driving um, commercials, like PSAs. Go look them up. They're fucking scary, man. Like They go hardcore on trying to get you to not drink drive here. You are right about opioids? Yeah, it's a bummer. What about Manitoba? Manitoba's not real. <laughs> People say that Winnipeg exists, but it's really a government ploy to make you believe that there's more Canadian cities. Don't believe Big Canada trying to convince you of this mystical land called Winnipeg, Manitoba. You've heard the name, but have you ever seen it? I think it's a mirage. And by think... I mean, no. Oh, shit. This really good guy here wants to actually get hired now. This is the tier four, not the tier five. But he is a talented cavalryman. I am hiring this guy. What would the wage increase be? Eight bucks a day? Not bad. That is really not bad for a dude of that skill. All right.
You're from Alberta, the Texas of Canada. That's a fair way to describe it. It's the closest thing we've got to a Texas. I like Alberta generally. I prefer Alberta to Ontario, which is unfortunately where I am. Okay, we're pretty far east, but we haven't hired our dudes yet. Let's keep moving. Oh, wait, is there a tournament in town here, though? Nope. Bummer. Let's go hit up a village here so we can get a couple recruits. Get some more horse dudes. Opinion on the peg? I think we... I thought we all agreed that the peg doesn't exist. This dude's already a, a noble's son. He's a whole different rank. Ooh, I'm hiring him. I didn't know that's a thing I could hire. That's fucking cool. Two of them. They're already horse archers. And then we can take this nomad because we could upgrade him into a horse archer pretty fast. So I guess these nobles probably just will be better in the long run then. Those dudes are expensive to hire, I'll say that. But uh, I'm guessing the nobles, because of their education, will probably be able to get to a higher rank by, the, uh, by their cap. And the 13 Force Bandits, I actually do want to fight that. Especially while they're cornered like this. Let's hope it's Flatland. Doesn't look like it from the background of that shot there. Oh, you know what? This charge! is actually really good land for us. Let's charge. Those PSAs are fucked up. You just went looking them up? Yeah. You can't recruit the four ban Force Bandit boss? Oh, how do you know for sure? How did... Man, Belia got taken out instantly. She must have got hit by a real nasty arrow shot to the eye or something. Because she's pretty armored up. Then again, they might all just aimed for her and focus fired her down. If so, smart move, because she was charging. Oh, great, our uh, nomad just got killed. Or at least knocked out. Doesn't matter too much. He was a cheap one. Easy. Two riding and a bow skill. We're getting close to 100 bow skill. What are the perks for that? Okay, at level 100, we're picking between can use any bow on horseback and three extra arrows per quiver. Definitely, definitely taking can use any bow from horseback. Although I believe I've been told that that has not been implemented fully yet. So in some future patch, it will finally kick in. Still worth getting ready ahead of time. And you know what? That's easy target. Hold on, what kind of troop is that? Step bandit. Okay, I'm trying to get used to all the different colors of bandit flags. Attack! Just check the internet. I also had him for months and never managed to recruit him. Okay. I'll ransom him then. We can make a little money. We didn't need need him that bad. Uh, pretty far behind. Do we have any companions beside gut rig? Yeah, we got four companions now. Uh, we got some really cool ones, actually. We got a medic that we're trying to get her medic skill up on, but she needs to level up so she can get another focus point on it. Because uh, Medic is based on intelligence, and unfortunately she seems to not be educated, because her, her uh, intelligence is very low. So she'll need more focus points. She hasn't had a single level up yet, though, just because she hasn't had great opportunities to train skills that she's good at. So I'm trying to just get her to fight a lot, and smith when she can. She's not very good at smithing, but you take what skill points you can get. Once she has more Medic focus points, she'll probably level up really fast. I'm probably going to put every focus point she has for five whole levels into medic just to max her out on it. Because seriously, a, having like a professional surgeon is a lifesaver in Mountain Blade games. Literally a lifesaver. Alright. I'm just going to ransom all the, tr all the uh, prisoners then. And maybe escort merchant caravan to be worth doing. Sell those. And all this clothing. Is anyone missing a shoulder armor? No. Okay. Right, because we want a lot of shoulder armor from tournaments. There we go. Another thousand dollars. How much are we paying wages? 205? 205 live? 
you can I can run and hide, but there's more that I can do. This is war. This is <laughs> No, okay, Retro won't even get that. Retro won't get that one. That joke was too fucking obscure. I'm the only motherfucker who has watched every me and Fatima are the only motherfuckers who have watched every episode ever of 205 Live. And it's actually one of our favorite shows. It's really good. It, it's in a it's in a bit of a weird crater right now because of the global apocalypse. But, you know, it's a good fucking show with good fucking wrestlers and they don't get enough credit. That's the 205 theme, right? Yeah. At least an old theme. Current one, still. They've always had the same theme. There we go. Spent the night there, making sure everyone's at full health, or at least as close as we can get them. You watch it occasionally? It's a great show. Love the jacket, by the way. Thank you! I have a bunch of these. LucaJackets.com It's not a sponsorship. He sent me the jackets to review them. I've only had time to review one of them so far, but not a sponsorship. Didn't get paid to do this. Didn't sign any contract or anything. Everything's verbal. He said, I'll send you these, and you do a video on them when you have time. And that's why Luke is my guy. He's a good dude. Anyway, though, I'm going to save and exit this because I have to work on way more stuff today. I've got to rush to edit this stuff, set up some uploads. i got to get ready for Pokemon Stadium tomorrow because I'm low on videos for that. i got to edit a whole lot. So much to do today. So I'm going to be streaming this probably again later this week because I need footage so fucking badly. I don't have tomorrow's video done. The beginning of this stream is tomorrow's video. I don't have the day after that's video done, because I'm recording that tomorrow with Brandon and what a geek. It's been hard to keep up with everything. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you, everybody, so much for coming to the stream, and until next time, have a nice day.